All right, we all know that pre-rolls can definitely be a gamble. Whether you're gonna get the shake, the bottom of the barrel, the shit that people don't want, the last of the last, it can really be hit or miss. But once you start adding Keef to it, you have my attention. Once you start adding diamonds to it, you have my attention. Once you start adding live resin diamonds, you pretty much have me sold. And then you put two in a pack and give some cool packaging, and well, you have Looper's THCA Live Resin pre-rolls with some diamonds uh, coated on them. Right here we have a Slurricane and a Citrus. I actually did try both of these already. I already smoked the Citrus one, but of course you guys know I saved one for the video. But if you guys see that name right there as well, Looper, if you guys do remember, I actually worked with them not too long ago, probably like six or so months ago, and they sent over some carts and some things like that. And um, yeah, now we're back working together and they have some cool THCA because like I say in almost every video now, that's kind of just what I've shifted my uh, content to. THCA flower is literally just my favorite thing um, because I'm definitely just more of a smoker anyway, uh, like a flower. I'm not really big into like dabs and um, pins and stuff because I just don't really trust a lot of hemp pins and I don't live in a legal area. So getting something that's as cool as this that comes in this tube, comes with two, as you can see the diamonds on top of there. But we're here to talk about smoking these. So let's actually get to that. And I do want to talk about some stuff that I have found um, that just makes it uh, a little negative uh, that being that I fucked up and you really got to make sure how you light this because I don't know if you can see that on my pinky but I did get a little bit of wax drop on me and it burned my finger cheers to that so you do have to smoke these and I can't stress this enough more at an upper angle kind of and be careful when it's like like putting it to the side you're gonna want to rotate it a lot because it can get very droppy uh, if you smoke it to the side it can literally fall off the side and burn you so if I look weird like a like a baby bird trying to receive its meal don't feel strange um, that is just kind of how you have to smoke these um, I think this is really cool but my first negative one I think it should just really more be inside because like I said, I literally burnt myself on this shit and uh, that shit hurt. But that is also lack of not knowing uh, how to really smoke it, honestly. So you want to get a nice little burn going. Go ahead and just start waving it like this. Always make sure you're keeping it up so that way when it drips down, it goes down instead of like falling. But essentially the experience that you're supposed to be getting from this is as it's going down and you're smoking, you're smoking the wax and it's like still going down so it's supposed to get on everything. I don't necessarily know how accurate that is, but joints like this require a lot of attention. So definitely make sure you know you're paying attention but these aren't your run-of-the-mill pre-rolls you know what i mean this is good flour with good live resin concentrate it is the slurricane the citrus one was pretty good it did have a nice citrusy taste to it i don't know why i can't really get that going um and then bam you see that already running it's already running down as you can tell if you're not careful it will burn your motherfucking skin bro so you definitely it literally it definitely scarred me i'm not gonna lie um it not only probably is gonna scar me but it also just scared the fuck out of me because i was just literally sitting there not paying attention like an idiot and bam that shit just fucking plopped right onto my pinky i was like ah! But yeah, these really taste good. The flour tastes really good. I look like I'm over here sage in my room. It's gonna look like the fucking, that 70s show ro circle rotation of how much it's fucking smoking. But yeah, you definitely wanna be careful not turning it to its side too much other than when you're gonna ash it so that way it doesn't fall over. Getting a pre-roll like this is an experience, you know what I mean? Because 
one not a lot of people would know exactly how to uh put on the keef and stuff or the um would get it a little bit wax melted around the paper then put keef on things like that some people don't want to go through that which i completely get um, one of the best ways i could tell you guys on how to do something like this is to uh get the wax on it and just kind of like heat it up uh not the whole joint but like on the joint a little bit uh or maybe put it on something that you can heat up and just like kind of spread it on essentially it takes a lot of work and a lot of patience um but it's indeed one of my favorite ways to smoke because i don't like to dab a lot i like to um put more of this stuff on my papers and inside my joints i think they should have done more of like inside the joint but that's obviously up to them also they sent over some gummies as well that we're going to be trying that are a ridiculous amount bro i think it's like 500 milligrams per gummy uh yeah so that's a ridiculous amount got a lot of fun content coming up bro still have my biggest smoke sesh about to come out but i mean i've been pretty sick the last couple like week week and a half so i didn't want to like do that video yet until um i felt better you know what i mean um and one thing i've kind of learned with this too is like sometimes if you like flip it back up and like now look i wouldn't do it with this one because it's been going down so much but sometimes you can let some of the thing run back into the heat um because yeah i mean like i said this thing is not easy like this isn't oh you just take it out the motherfucking bottle thing and start smoking and it's gonna be great like a perfect if you want a quality cool smoke sesh you're gonna have to put some work in it man but yeah so theoretically this is supposed to all like heat up towards you know throughout the whole joint you're supposed to be smoking it as it goes down it's pretty cool i think it would be better if it was just inside you got people like me that are dumb and like literally burnt my own fucking finger by just putting it to the side a little bit but man i'm really baked i don't know if uh, you guys can tell yet It is good flower, man. Looper's a really cool company. I'm happy to be working with them again. I hope I can just try some straight up THCA flower from them eventually. Um, and this, like the citrus one definitely had a lot of citrusy terps that you could taste. And it tasted really fire, I'm not gonna lie. This right here is definitely, man, it's like, it was so much work. Now I, I forgot how, like, I forgot to realize that I'm even high. If <laughs> you know what I mean, like now I'm super fucking baked. I've been worrying about this um, and not burning myself. So in terms of pre-rolls, I definitely think that this is like a cool way to go. It's way better in terms of like flour. You get concentrate on it, you get two. Yeah, it's all you really need. Good flour, good concentrate, good packaging, and more than one. It really does live up to the hype if you ask me um just be careful when dealing with the hot wax always make sure you got this bitch upright and you're like circling it because if not it's gonna fall burn you burn your carpet burn something and that's not fucking cool bro uh but yeah gonna go ahead and end this i'm gonna smoke the rest of this off camera i'm already super baked and uh yeah have a great day if you enjoy the end bumps and you're into chili dilly and bumps i'm off this bitch mm -hmm.